I founded the Creative Rights Caucus, and I'm very pleased to co-chair it with my Republican co-chair, Howard Coble. And we have uh, recruited members from Congress. Now, I'm very proud to say we have 52 members that span 17 states who are from all political stripes, and yet who all believe that the rights of creators should be protected. One of the first things that we wanted to do with the Creative Rights Caucus was have briefings on the Hill. We wanted to have people from the creative industries talk from their own perspective about how, how copyright affects them. So we've had musicians and songwriters play their songs, many of them very famous songs, and then talk about how much they are compensated, which in some cases are just shockingly low. For instance, uh, songwriters get only eight cents for every thousand streams that take place online. Uh, and we've had uh, people talk about movie making, what that entails, and how intricate the whole process is. We want to create a greater awareness of what the creative process entails, but also the number of people that it does affect. And uh, we've been able to highlight the fact that it affects every state in this country because there is filmmaking taking place. Certainly there are songwriters in every state of the union. This idea has implications for so many people. In my district, I don't have the famous people. I have the set technicians, the uh, lighting technicians, the makeup artists, the people who make their living off of the creative industries. And there are thousands upon thousands of jobs that need to be protected. The royalties for the visual arts are extremely important and unfortunately stolen far too often. In fact, um, they perhaps are stolen even more so than, than other works of art. We have some exciting projects coming up. One is Movie Magic Day. We want to have a day on the Hill similar to what, say, the consumer electronics have in that they kind of have a fair in which people can go to a room and see for themselves what creators do. They can see that the creators are not just uh, the, the famous actresses and actors and, and directors. They are the behind the scenes people who really make the film work. And so they can actually uh, perhaps uh, get themselves made up by a makeup artist or can look at how lighting is actually done on a film. So it'll be a very participatory event. The other two things that we're doing are modeled on some events that uh, have been taking place in Great Britain. They had a contest um, amongst the parliament parliamentary members to see who could get the best songwriter and band. And so basically what we want to do here is model ourselves on this. We will have a contest in which each Congress member will pick the best song from their district. And then there will be a big competition to see out of all those songs from the different districts, which will be the best song of all for that year. And by doing that, um, songwriters will meet Congress members, Congress members will meet songwriters, and they will get a greater understanding about what the songwriter goes through. We're going to do something similar with Film the House. We're going to have a film competition in which uh, we have budding filmmakers uh, submit uh, some section of a film and uh, we'll pick the best ideas. Again, we'll have a national competition.